These are the most remarkable and enduring heavy machines ever constructed, standing as timeless testaments to human ingenuity and engineering prowess. Let's delve into these mechanical marvels. 10. The Bagger 1473 one of the first giant bucket wheel excavators. When you think of giant mining machines, the Bagger 288 probably comes to mind. But before that behemoth, there was the Bagger 1473, built in the 1940s in Germany. This was one of the earliest massive bucket wheel excavators used for large-scale mining. How it worked. Unlike hydraulic excavators that use powerful pistons, the Bagger 1473 relied on electric motors and an intricate system of gears to continuously scoop soil and rock. It could process thousands of cubic meters per hour, making it far more efficient than traditional digging methods. Legacy. Though it was eventually replaced by newer models, this early bucket wheel excavator proved that continuous digging technology was the future of mining. Modern versions of the Bagger 1473 still operate in open pit mines today. 9. The Marion 6360, the Captain. Built in 1965, the Marion 6360, better known as the Captain, was the largest dragline excavator ever built. It was 28 stories tall, weighed 28 million pounds, and had a boom that stretched over 215 feet. Power and capacity used for coal mining, this machine could move 300 cubic yards of earth in a single scoop. Its bucket alone weighed 165 tons when empty. What happened to it? Sadly, the captain met an unfortunate end in 1991 when a devastating fire rendered it inoperable. Due to the massive cost of repairs, it was scrapped. However, its memory still lives on as one of the largest and most ambitious excavation machines ever built. Eight, the steam-powered dredger of the 1880s. Before diesel and electric dredgers, Early dredging machines were powered by steam engines. These machines played a vital role in clearing rivers and harbors to allow for safer ship passage. How they worked. A steam boiler powered a large scoop or bucket system. The machine would scrape and collect sediment from the bottom of rivers and lakes. Where were they used? Steam dredgers were critical for expanding trade routes. In the Panama Canal, steam-powered dredgers were instrumental in removing millions of tons of rock and mud. While modern dredgers use hydraulic systems, some of these 19th century steam dredgers are still preserved in museums as relics of the Industrial Revolution. 7. The Bucyrus 50B Steam Shovel, 1900s. The Bucyrus 50B Steam Shovel was one of the most significant pieces of heavy machinery in history. Built in the early 1900s, it played a crucial role in some of the biggest infrastructure projects of the 20th century. Notable uses, Panama Canal, these machines helped carve through the harsh terrain to connect the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Railroad construction used to build railroad beds across North America. What made it special? Unlike traditional manual labor methods, the Bucyrus 50B could move tons of dirt in minutes, vastly reducing the time needed for excavation projects. While steam shovels eventually gave way to diesel-powered models, the Bucyrus 50B represents a pivotal moment in engineering history. 6. The Holt 75 Tractor, a predecessor to the Caterpillar. Before Caterpillar became a global name in construction, there was the Holt 75. Introduced in 1913, this was one of the first tractors to use continuous tracks instead of wheels. Why was it revolutionary? Traditional tractors often sank into soft ground, but the Holt 75's track system evenly distributed weight. Its design directly influenced early military tanks in World War I. A few Holt 75 tractors are still operational today, carefully restored by collectors and historical societies. 5. The Le Tourneau L2350, the world's largest wheel loader, 1980s. Even though it was built in the 1980s, the Le Tourneau L2350 still holds the record for the largest wheel loader ever built. Key stats, height, over 22 feet tall, weight, 260 tons, lifting capacity, 72 tons per scoop. Why does it matter? This behemoth is still actively used in mining operations today, proving that some machines are simply too well built to retire. Four, 
the Stothard and Pitt Steam Crane, 1800s. Stothard and Pitt was a British company that made steam-powered cranes in the 1800s. These machines were essential for loading and unloading ships in harbors across the world. How they worked. Powered by steam boilers, these cranes used massive gears to lift heavy loads. Unlike modern hydraulic cranes, they required teams of workers to operate. Some of these historic cranes still stand today in ports and museums as reminders of a bygone era. 3. The 19th Century Armstrong Hydraulic Crane In the mid-19th century, the Industrial Revolution was in full swing, and new inventions were constantly changing the way heavy loads were lifted and transported. One of the most remarkable innovations of this era was the Armstrong Hydraulic Crane, a game-changing piece of machinery that proved hydraulic power was the future. How did it work? The Armstrong Hydraulic Crane used a hydraulic accumulator, a pressurized water system that allowed the crane to lift heavier loads with far less effort. The system worked as follows. A high-pressure water system stored energy, which could be released when needed. Hydraulic cylinders powered the lifting mechanism, replacing the need for steam-driven pistons. The pressurized system allowed for smoother and more precise lifting, making operations more efficient. While most of these 19th century hydraulic cranes have since been retired, some historical sites in the UK still preserve and display them, serving as a testament to the ingenuity of early engineers. Two, the steam-powered road roller, 1860s. Imagine a time before smooth highways and modern asphalt roads. In the mid-1800s, road construction was a slow and labor-intensive process, relying on heavy stone rollers pulled by horses. But in the 1860s, the world saw a revolution in road-building technology with the introduction of the steam-powered road roller. Why was it important? Before steam rollers, road construction was inconsistent and time-consuming. The steam roller significantly sped up the process, making road surfaces more compact and durable. It set the stage for modern road-building techniques, influencing today's asphalt and concrete paving machines. Despite being over 150 years old, some fully restored steam rollers still operate at vintage machinery fairs and historic events. Enthusiasts maintain these massive machines, keeping history alive and showing the evolution of road construction. Modern road rollers use diesel engines and hydraulic systems, but they owe their origins to these steam-powered pioneers that helped pave the roads we drive on today. 1. The Ancient Roman Cranes when we think of ancient civilizations, we often picture grand temples, towering aqueducts, and massive stone bridges. But have you ever wondered how the Romans managed to lift and place those enormous stones, some weighing several tons? The answer lies in one of the earliest examples of heavy machinery, the Roman crane. Why were these cranes revolutionary? The introduction of cranes allowed the Romans to construct massive structures like the Colosseum, aqueducts, and temples that still stand today. Increased construction speed compared to primitive lifting methods like ramps. Transport and lift heavier stones than human strength alone could manage. Archaeologists and engineers have recreated these ancient cranes, testing their effectiveness. Surprisingly, even with only human power, these devices can lift several tons with minimal effort proving just how advanced Roman engineering truly was. Even though 2,000 years have passed, Roman cranes remain one of the most ingenious and enduring examples of early heavy machinery. From the mighty steam engines of the Industrial Revolution to the hand-cranked cranes of ancient Rome, these machines laid the foundation for modern construction, mining, and road building. Without them, our cities, roads, and monuments might not exist as they do today.